Hello, welcome to Sunshine MLS Plus. This tutorial will guide you through the prospecting module in Sunshine MLS Plus. We're going to begin by logging in, and from the main navigation bar, we're going to choose prospecting. What will load is your prospecting main page, which will show you a list of all of your prospects, including uh, additional information regarding each prospect. What you'll see is the profile name, and it's hyperlinked to the actual profile results. So if you click on the profile name, you'll be able to view the results for that particular profile. You'll see the name of the contact that the profile is linked to if a profile is linked to a particular contact from your Sunshine MLS Plus contacts module. You'll see the description that you provided for the particular contact, uh, um, for the particular prospecting profile. You'll see the total number of listings that match the criteria input for the profile. You'll see the number of watch list items for this particular profile. You'll see how many listings matched the profile um, today. So if a listing, if a uh, prospecting profile runs on a nightly basis, you'll see how many new listings match the criteria that you've set up. And you'll also see the date of last activity for a particular profile. In addition to that, you'll see the status. The profile is either active or inactive, like th these below. And you'll be able to manage the profile by um, being able to edit it, being able to copy it and create a new profile. You can delete any profile in the list, or you can inactivate a profile from the list. We're going to begin by adding a new profile to our Sunshine MLS prospecting profiles. And we'll call it our prospecting tutorial. We're going to put in a description. We're going to do BNO1 active properties. And we'd like to get an email every time there's activity on this profile. We'd like it to run on a daily basis. And this is a residential profile, so we'll choose residential from the property class dropdown. And we're going to set criteria for this profile to use to run on. So we're going to do BNO1, and we're going to say active. And you'll see the summary of your criteria, as well as a total count for the properties that currently match this profile. We're going to save the, this criteria to the profile, so you'll see that the criteria is right here. The summary of the criteria is under the criteria box. We can also tell the system to email our customer when it runs the profile and when there are listings matching the profile. To do this, we need to select a customer from our Sunshine MLS Plus contacts. If you have a customer that you'd wish to email from a particular profile, that is not in your contacts list. You will need to first create a contact for that particular customer, a contact entry in the Sunshine MLS Plus contacts module, and then set up a profile for the particular customer. So in here, we can just choose one of our customers. And at this point, if you're satisfied with all of the criteria that you've put in, you can say Save to Profile. And you will see that our prospecting tutorial is now part of our um, Sunshine MLS Plus prospecting profiles. At this point, we can choose to run it immediately and take a look at the results, or we can wait for the system to run it on a nightly basis. So if we choose Run, or if we choose to take a look at the results on any of our existing profiles, the results will be the same. So we'll just choose Run for this particular profile. The profile will run and execute the criteria that we've put in and we'll see all of the listings that currently match our criteria for this particular prospecting profile. At this point, you'll notice that there is a prospecting column on the report with a letter indication of N and what this means is that these are all listings that are marked as new. So the profile has run and all of these listings are considered new to the particular profile. At this point, you can manage your profile results by simply clicking on the listings that you'd like to, for example, put on a watch list. So let's say we want to click on these four listings, and we'd like to place them in a watch list. Let's say these four listings, and we'd like to place them in a watch list. So what you'll notice is as you click, they're put into your cart, and there's a watch button right here. So if we click on watch, the four listings from the cart will be marked with a W right next to them, and this will indicate that they are on a listings watch list that we've added these four listings to. So they'll always have a W next to them 
indicating to us visually that they are of particular interest. In addition to that, you can also trash listings that you know are no longer of interest to you. So for example, this particular listing you know you're not interested in. So what you can do is you can put it into the cart and you can click trash and this particular listing will be removed from your results and you'll see that it is no longer part of your list of results for this particular profile. In addition to putting listings on a watch list and trashing them, if they're in your cart you can also email them or print them and send them to your customers or you can save the contents of the cart much like you can do for the regular search results that you have. You can also use all of the search functionality um, that's on the top like sorting and emailing and printing from the top as well. This concludes our prospecting presentation tutorial for Sunshine MLS Plus.